New text fields allow us to mix date and time with the bubbles on the bubble cloud watch face. We can now add one or two rows of information to the split digital watch face layout and the analog clock smart auto layout even rearranges the bubbles to make room for an upper or lower text field. This provides an easy way to create dual analog plus digital watch faces requested by many of you. I will show you how to set up these in the phone app first, then in a second example using the settings on the watch itself. For a dual clock, I choose the theme that came with the notification icons plugin, theme pack 11. Normally, the bubbles go all the way around the dial, making room for more as bubbles get added to the watch face. Adding the digital time is as simple as bringing up the smart auto layout screen and tapping on the top or bottom text field, depending on where we want that digital clock to show. Let's enable the field. I choose the 12 hour time from the list of presets, but I can edit the template to remove the AMPM part simply by deleting the letter A. Assign any click action to open an app or start tasker routines, toggle smart lights or other built-in functions. We can adjust font style, size, if ambient mode visibility is enabled, we can set its color separately. See how the smart auto layout arranged the bubbles in a half circle so they don't interfere with the text field now? On the watch, we can long press the text field to bring up the same settings. Seek bars now have fine adjustments via the plus minus buttons. Long press the label to reset or long press it again to undo. Let's turn off the bottom text field for now and set up a digital watch face that will now include the date. For this, we take the font and initial layout from the theme Cafe Zots in Theme Pack 12. This shows the time using words, but under clock settings, we can still select to show hours or minutes using regular numbers. While we are here, let's make space for the date row by adjusting the new vertical shift parameter. Beautiful. All we need now is to add the text field available under the favorite cloud section on the watch as well. We use the top row this time. For field content, we select the date. Yes, its position on the screen needs some adjustment. We can apply a bit of vertical shift to the text field as well. By vertically shifting, a second text field could be placed even above or below the time digits and the editable format strings provide great flexibility over what we might want to show on our watch faces. Your feature requests directly contribute to these new features. Please email me with questions and bug reports too. I'm always happy to hear from fellow Wear OS users. You can also support this project by liking my YouTube videos and leaving 5-star ratings for my apps and theme packs in the Play Store. Thank you if you already did, and as always, keep enjoying the bubble clouds.